What's up, people? Welcome to another edition of Inside Jokes RV. Short yours truly, Joe Shelton. As you can see in the background here, this is the new rig. This is a 2014 Thor Ace 29.2. Uh, major upgrade. We'll talk about that. If you haven't seen the um, review of the RV, I'm going to put the link right here, and this is my little tour of it. But as I got this, I'm in Nashville, Tennessee, and I purchased this from a dealership, RV dealership, that is outside of Chattanooga, which is about an hour and a half from here, and driving it back. So if you've never driven a, a big Class A motorhome like this, you need some adjustment after you two. You, know, you have the sway, the wind, trucks coming by you. And uh, so that was a sort of a an adjustment period from driving a smaller vehicle. So researching, uh, the RV does have a, a another in sway bar that's already installed. But uh, researching um, other things that can help control that sway and that that sort of tilting feeling, uh, something an easy install called Sumo Springs. Sumo Springs. And the good thing about this, you can do them yourself. I watched, it's very easy. There's no really, you're just replacing the bump stop that's already on here. And you're just bolting a few things. It's very DIY friendly. So this is something you can do yourself if you're handy. Uh, the Sumo Springs themselves cost about $600. So they're sort of expensive, but driving anything that you can do to up the upgrade your handling ability or something like this is well worth the money so uh i'm going to show you the inst installation process of the sumo springs on this is a ford uh f53 chassis uh uh motor coach we get me and my rv This is what the sumo spring looks like. This is the top thing right here, bolts up to where the, and this is the bottom portion that sort of sits on the leaf spring. Uh, I'll put the item number and the, um, where I ordered this from in the comments. So if you need to do, order your own, you can just click the link that's in the comments. All right, let's try to get started. All right. But you can see that little round, this little thing right here, that's the bump stop. That comes basic on all these four chassis. Now people, a lot of people ask, why don't the RV companies do these basic things? Well, the RV companies, they're just, you know, this whole motor chassis, everything to ship to them, and the RV deal, different RV companies, they just build on top of this. So this is just a stock thing. Uh, so they're not, you know, they don't know if the chassis is going to be a delivery a UPS truck or what. So they just ship, and so the RV company she, seems like this should be something that RV companies do, but they don't. So. We have to remove, there's a bolt right in here. We have to remove that and put that top thing out. If you can see, I've got my, my hydraulic jacks down just to ease the suspension off of this a little bit to give me more space in between here. So uh, I'm gonna try to get a better, angle, better camera angle so I can take this uh, first uh, bump stop off. All right, I'm using a 13 millimeter socket, probably the extension and a 15 on the top. There's a bolt that you have to sort of hold steady. Uh, 
So you want to keep the same. You want to keep that same hardware because you're going to use that to put. Keep that same bolt and everything because you're going to use that to put the new sumo spring on. The RV companies ought to be ashamed of themselves. This is what comes factor on that fifth F, that Ford F fifty three chassis. Look at that. I mean, and this is just the top half. This is, I mean, that's ridiculous. RV companies, man, they stuff like this should come automatically on these things. But anyhow, all right, we're gonna put this. Uh, this is the bolt that I just took out. Ended up using that same one that was on there. This is the first bracket. You got me to put these two screws. That's what you're gonna screw your bumps out to. Got these little lips right here. And they catch on to this uh, frame. So you get it up through there. Put it same hole. Get that bolt on there. And I'm definitely going to use my impact driver. Crazy angle. All right, look. I'm on. Let me get this down and I'll get back with y'all. All right, sorry I couldn't film that, man. It was, I guess that's why if you was in a shop shop, you can lift this thing all the way up, but you, it's crazy angles. But I got that one installed. Got that one installed over there. Technically, man, if you was in the right spot where you can really just get under there, man, it's like a 25 minute job. But for me, Took me an hour and about two hours because I was trying to bend and being sort of tentative of getting up under uh, a big vehicle like this. So you're going a little cautious. So right in the, sure in the RV shop, they can put these on and shoot 15 minutes. And they'll probably charge you $200 labor just to do it. And it's real simple. It's just, you know, getting up there to do it. All right, this is what it's still my jack's still down. Let's put it, my jack's down and look at it afterwards. All right, that's what the jack down. That's what it's looking like. The purpose for me in inst installing those sumo springs was basically just to sort of soften the, the, the ride a little bit. Um, um, when I first drove it, it felt like you, were, you could feel every little bump, crack, crevice in the road. When you hit it, you felt it. And if it was, if I to judge it on a scale of one to ten, each big pothole it felt like a ten on a Richter scale when I would hit it because you felt it, you felt everything. After the installation of these sumo springs, I'd say that dropped from a ten down to maybe a six, six or a five. Uh, so it has softened the blow of those initial shocks hitting potholes and things like that. So eventually, over time. I will probably try to um, upgrade uh, the shocks that's on there and eventually install the rear sumo springs for that. So, and then from that, I think I will, hopefully those things over a period of time will initially give me the soften of the ride that, I, that I'm looking for. So, um, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, Leave a comment if you, you're trying to do a similar project like this. Um, again, with a class A, you're just trying to do anything you can to try to help improve the ride of the uh, of the of the RV, uh, especially if you're driving long trips and long distance and things like that. You want to do whatever you can to help uh, soften and ease, make that ride a little more comfortable. So uh, leave me a comment. Again, I'm not a professional. Uh, I'm not an RV mechanic. I'm just a DIY guy. I'm doing it myself, testing things out based on what 
I've read and seen on YouTube. All right. Till then, next time on Inside Jokes, yeah, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. We'll see you next time. Peace. Me and my RV.